So here it is, a net zero home. This house has been set up to operate with no net requirement of power coming from the public utility. In this house, the way it could be possible uh, by considering various things. Number one, properly sealing the envelope uh, so that you can actually do not lose heats. You use proper insulation. You use, uh, you know, high efficiency uh, appliances. Uh, you also use various kinds of, you know, heat recovery system. For example, any water that you're using and that used water is already, it has the heat. And when it just drains out, then we are losing that heat. So there is a way you can actually recover it. So, so if someone has a bath or a shower, right. that hot water going through the pipes, right. this house uses that heat. Right, right. Yeah, and you can retain that heat and you can use it for heating the house, for example, during winter, right? Um, also, uh, what else we are using? We are using uh, in, uh, uh, energy uh, recovery ventilation system, like kind of a heat recovery ventilation system. And this one is more suitable for this kind of climate because in heat recovery ventilation system, it also takes out the moisture, but this one will retain the moisture and we'll do the moisture exchange as well as the heat exchange. There's solar panels on the roof that at some times of the year will actually generate more power than this house uses? Yes, yeah, during the uh, summertime for sure it will generate more and in winter time it, you know that its efficiency will go down but overall net uh, in, in this house you will not use more energy than it requires. This is amazing because People who have lived in the Okanagan for any length of time know right. that it's pretty cloudy through yes. the winter, so you're right. not going to be generating a right. ton of solar power, but exactly. you're, you've gained enough in the summer to make up for that? Yes, because this house is so efficient, right? Because it requires less amount of energy to heat up and cool down. So th this is the main reason, yes. To get this house set up to be uh, net zero, was it kind of caution to the wind in terms of expense? Uh, of course, net zero will be, uh, con compared to conventional construction, it will be expensive, for sure. Is it a you, lot more expensive? Uh, that one, we have to figure it out, because the construction, uh, uh, the builder who built it, we, uh, it, it's a research process that we are going through, and they will provide us the numbers, and then we will be able to tell that, okay, so certain component, you know, uh, will be the payback period of this many years, because everything, every component, so three pane windows versus two pane windows, right? High insulation, you know, uh, less insulation. So everything has some uh, cost item that we have to consider that what would be the payback period so that they can make informed decision. Right. Yeah. It's also a beautiful house. Yes, you need course. You need someone to, to live in this for the next little yes. while? Yes, yeah. So Can I volunteer for that? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and we will be, uh, because this house is fully instrumented, so we will be getting data for three years to understand the behavior and performance of this house. Right, so at this point, you've set it up and all of your sort of mathematical equations say that it should be net zero, but now you have to prove it. Yes, yes, through the data and once it's being occupied, uh, it also depends on also occupancy behavior, also plays a role, how the house will be performing. Right. Think about some person uh, during winter, uh, you know, uh, they uh, are comfortable at a very high temperature, but at the same time, they want to keep the windows open, right? So then that equation will be very different compared right. to someone whose you know, comfort level is at a low temperature and everything is right. sealed. So it should be net zero for the average people. But where, yes. do, you, where do you find average people? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling us about it. Yeah, it was very yeah. nice talking to you. And good luck with the experiment. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.